Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Keisha. In the past two months, my life has been completely changed and everything is totally different. And so I want to give you guys a little update as I do my skincare routine featuring some products that I've been loving recently. Let's jump right in. I was sent this package by Equal RXN and they feature a lot of really hydrating products that are quite interesting. I'm cleansing my face with the higher capacity cleanser cleansing fluid. This one is a really interesting cleanser because I use it both as an oil cleanser as well as a cleanser cleanser because it is a liquid. This cleanser is so gentle. It's filled with amino acids and it has 10% glycerin. So it's going to be super, super hydrating on your skin. And I've really been into gentle cleansers recently. So here, can you guys see? It's just, it's literally just liquid. Now that my skin is like, okay, and like it's doing its own thing, it's fine. I don't really need anything that's too, you know, strong, right? And so I just want something that's gonna be very nice and hydrating. So you guys know that I'm born and raised in Toronto and Toronto at the moment is just not a livable place as a baby millennial. And it is pretty much impossible for us to move on to the next stage of our lives, which has been very annoying for both our parents as well as for us, obviously. The past two years I've been kind of dating and looking around because the only way that I can move out is if I have a partner, I can't afford to live on my own. And so I've been in a couple of relationships. I think one of the hardest things for me is that I just never knew what a healthy relationship looked like. My parents were divorced, so it was very difficult to find that. But in February of this year, I met the most amazing man and I'm in the happiest relationship I have ever been in and it felt like everything just clicked into place to be honest he was also the same stage that i was in and we were both kind of like when we met each other there was like no bull we were just like listen this is what i want this is what i'm looking for are you on the same page and i just love how open we both were this is why i always say that like in order to find that really beautiful happy relationship you have to work on yourself first. If I had not worked on myself and become the best version of myself, the person that I really, really want to be in the future, then when he came into my life, I would not have been ready for him, but I was. It's technically been 10 months since we've known each other, but eight months since we've been together. And it's been absolutely amazing. So once I had my bow, the next plan was of course to try to move out and we were looking for places in Toronto. We were looking at condos and apartments and townhomes and we got a realtor to try to help us look for a more affordable place and it just was not working out. I also really did not like where I was working and neither did he so we weren't married to our jobs at all. We came to the conversation where we said okay would we be willing to move out of Ontario? and we decided that we would move to Edmonton. Totally left field. I do have some family up here, but it's not like we really know very many people. Get our entire family, all our friend group, everything that we know is, is back in Toronto. Um, but yes, we are now in Edmonton, Alberta. I counter to like my whole YouTube channel. I am a very private person. So I, I've just kind of been figuring out how much do I want to talk about it? How much do I want to share? But I do want to share with you guys like the most amazing things that have happened in my life. And this is me quitting my job. Yes, I no longer work in finance. I now do social media full time. And, you know, I have this, this amazing relationship, this amazing man, and I have this amazing town home that I now uh, rent in Edmonton. So our plan is basically to rent for two years. And then after that, we would go looking for our own place just to make sure that we like the place. Edmonton is definitely a lot colder than Toronto. There's already snow on the ground. What is today? It's November 2nd. There's already snow on the ground. It is getting a lot colder than normal for my toner. This is the Hamish All Clean Low pH Balancing Toner. I've been using this for so long. It's like almost done, but yeah, it's so beautiful. It's lightweight, really beautiful when you glide in on your skin. Again. I also have a dog because my boyfriend Matt has a dog. He's like a little chihuahua terrier who's always yapping and yelling all the time. I swear he has so much energy and is like running all over the place and can't sit down. Next, I'm going in with the Robicton Skin Essentials Activating Treatment Lotion. You guys have heard me talk about this for so long. This bottle is like almost done. It's like a really fat water. Like it's a fat, kind of reminds me of the snail mucin just because of how thick it is. It has this beautiful, like rich consistency. 
that allows you to hold like so much more water in your face i always love prepping with a toner because i feel like that gets your skin wet and then this just sits on top and gets that hydration in it's been wonderful being able to make my own hours and work according to my own schedule according to what i like my skin has been doing so much better because of it i'm no longer stressed out i'm no longer you know rushing to do things obviously there's so much to do now that we've just moved we finally got this house settled it was looking crazy before but it finally is looking like a house <laughs> looking like a home i should say i've been loving it we've both been loving it out here our next task of course is to make some friends because we just moved out here we don't really know anyone i work from home so i never really have the chance to meet anyone so of course that's been a little difficult i am an introvert but it doesn't mean that we don't need any communication whatsoever i'm using the equal rxn oat milk pha serum this one is a barrier repairing and glow generating acid and it also has some really interesting ingredients it's snow mushroom it is so beautiful on your skin honestly this has been totally making my skin incredibly smooth because it has the pha so it's gently exfoliating it's nothing crazy but it's super hydrating because of the ingredients that are in there and of course it's repairing your barrier so so if you're looking for a chemical exfoliator something that'll be a little bit more gentle on your skin i would absolutely suggest picking this one up it is a gorgeous formula it feels fantastic on the skin and it has been what has been keeping my skin so smooth lately now that my acne is truly under control i've been able to focus on other aspects of my skin like hyperpigmentation as well as aging well so currently i'm using a multi-peptide this is the notorium multi-peptide eye cream and it's a blend with squalane and hyaluronic acid. I also have the advanced serum that I've been using, same ingredients, this one is frulic acid and collagen, and it's basically supposed to bring life back to my skin. I don't know about you, but stress has really completely made my skin look different than it was before. And so now that I'm obviously at home and in a completely different environment, I've been able to sleep and really relax. It really wasn't until I got out here that I noticed how much my skin was bogged down by stress and by the environment. Since I've been here, my skin has been looking completely different and it's really time to start focusing on making sure that I'm preparing for the future. I won't be like this forever, <laughs> which is totally fine. I'm not against aging and, and all kind of stuff like that. Obviously, it doesn't really matter whether you're against it or not because it's gonna happen. But, you know, as much as I can mitigate my skin and just help it along that journey that's what i would love to do so i've been using retinol in the night and then peptides in the morning to really help my skin for my moisturizer i'm using the equal rxn purslane prebiotic moisturizer and this one is like one of those hydrogel moisturizers it has this beautiful like lightweight consistency it just feels like a gel i'm always looking for anything that's hydrogel that's the type of moisturizer that i prefer just because with my combination skin i don't want anything too too heavy it is winter so i want a little bit of a robust richer moisture but once again, I don't want anything too heavy on my skin. I'm actually really surprised by this product and how much I really enjoy it. This is once again for barrier control and for hydrating your skin. It leaves my skin feeling super plump and bouncy and juicy and gorgeous. But like I was saying, yes, I'm an introvert. I love being in the comfort of my own home. I love you know, being by myself, it's how I get most of my things done. It's how you grow. It's how you do all these other things. But, you know, here in Edmonton, I'm going to be here for a while. So that's our next task. It's to make some adult couple friends. It's a completely different stage for me. And I hope that anybody who's going through the same thing, I know it's, it can be very difficult, especially living at home with your parents. You may not have the best relationship with your parents or you just need to get on your own and do your own thing. Trust me, I, I am 28 and I finally moved out of my mom's house and she's ecstatic, so am I. He's also 28, his parents are ecstatic as well. If you're also in this stage of your life and you just don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, you may be bogged down by like student loans and debt or you're not making enough money honestly moving out will truly be the most liberating feeling i know it's daunting and it's scary trust me as someone who just quit their full-time job and is now doing social media full-time it is very scary find some friends find some friends i'm sure you have at least three friends that you guys can rent a um a condo find 
some way to move out on your own. That is where you're going to find your independence and honestly changing your environment is going to make you feel 10 thousand times better. I can't finish a morning skincare routine without sunscreen. I'm using the Marian May Stika Seething Sun Cream for Sensitive Skin. This is SPF 50 P++++. I do have a sunscreen for dark skin episode already on this one here, so I will link it down below if you guys need to check that out, but I absolutely love this sunscreen. It is a chemical sunscreen. It's a Korean sunscreen. It's so lightweight. The ingredients are fantastic. I've been using this like it's almost done. It's ready to cut at this point. It is so, so wonderful. And of course it leaves no cast because I don't have time for that. I know it looks, it looks scary, but don't worry. It blends into your skin. Going forward, I will definitely be continuing the Sunscreen for Dark Skin series. I have so many other sunscreens that I want you guys to see and try. You guys have also been sending me your uh, request for sunscreen reviews. So I'm looking for them online at the moment. I'm building, building up a really good list of all the products that I'm going to be trying. Going into this next phase, I'm also looking for products to help with hyperpigmentation. So that's kind of the next goal. And of course my hair, trying to grow that out. And then I do want to do some more lifestyle videos like this one. Some more lifestyle, talking to you guys about getting to this other stage of your life. I've gotten a lot of questions from people and you know, it's time we finally time to do some more girl talk so so stay tuned for all of that goodness coming up very very soon i'm super excited to start creating more content for you guys i've missed you guys but that is the end of the video i thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed all the products that i've been using today i will be linking them down below leave me a comment down below about the products that you've been using recently as well as how you've been mitigating this next chapter of your life. I would love to hear your thoughts and your stories. Go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye.